Most times I have a lot of products that remain the same throughout the year. However, there are some seasonal products that are a must put on, okay? So let me take you guys through some of my summer must-haves in terms of shower care, skin care, body care, glow, okay, that shimmer glow, as well as some perfume fragrances and scent bird perfumes I recently picked up that are perfect for on the go. We got a lot to run through for this video, so I hope you guys got your pen, your paper, and your coins ready, all right? So without further ado, if y'all are ready, so am I. So let's hop into this video. So something that remains the same for me throughout the seasons and over the year is my oral hygiene routine. So I don't really feel the need to put you guys on a new oral hygiene products because I already have plenty of videos on my channel showing that as well as me demonstrating that. However, what follows shortly after oral hygiene is the skincare. So we're gonna go ahead and kick things off with that. Now your girl is a year round face mask wearer. However, there are certain face masks that I like using during the summertime in particular. One of those masks being the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask Seaweed Radiance Facial. I feel like radiance is the key word with that because whenever I apply this face mask and then wipe it off my skin, it has this natural glow effect going on to it and it's super smooth and soft. I love this face mask, can't go wrong with it. And then another staple face mask of mine is actually a black owned brand called Salt XO. It is a Hydra Mask Skin Brightening Mask. I actually need to buy a new one very soon because I am almost out. Ultimately, yes, it's a skin brightening mask, but don't thin bleach skin type of thing. It really just helps with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, etc., which is why it's cool to use it on your face and on your face, okay? So I grab this mask often. I try to wear it at least two, three times a week, especially because y'all know I don't wear foundation like that. So my skin needs to be on 10 top tier always, especially especially in the summertime because the skin, the skin is out, you know? So I love this mask so much. The Tula Skin Care 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. I mix it with my staple of vitamin E oil. This combination, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, this combination, everything. If you're someone like me who's been struggling to just find something that makes your skin feel moisturized and like locked in all day, try this combo out. It very well might change your life. Another thing I make sure I keep on deck during the summertime is actually clarifying facial wipes from Shea Moisture, another black owned brand. I like to sometimes, you know, refresh and touch myself up during a hot summer day. Throughout the day, whether I'm wearing makeup or not, my face will sweat. I'll just get real hot and muggy. So I like to hit my face with a little clarifying towelette to kind of like, you know, refresh myself. Another staple aspect of my skincare during the summer, eye mask, you guys. I think a lot of you guys have seen me in the Collagen Gold Eye mask that I got off of Amazon, but also I think I got these maybe from um, like Marshalls or something. It doesn't really matter for me personally. I just like wearing eye masks under my eyes. Again, not a foundation wear, not a concealer wear. So the bags under my eyes, I did not get a good night's sleep or your girl's just tired overall from life. You know, life be life and sometimes. I like to hit my eyes with a little bit of eye mask. They help to moisturize, rehydrate, and regenerate this under eye area, okay? So basically, long story short, there's a lot of benefits to wearing eye mask during the summertime, especially because the skin is out. Something else I've been hitting my skin with often during these summer months is this Coco Kind turmeric stick. At night and in the morning, maybe if I'm not really doing anything during the morning, afternoon time, I will hit my skin with this particular stick and just hit that area. Well, I don't need to show you guys, but I'll hit that area with it and it'll just sit there for a while. And if I use it on a consistent basis, I do notice that my marks start to fade a lot faster. So this is like a staple for sure for me. And then the last thing that I want to put you guys on to, the face wash that I use. I use this soy face cleanser from Fresh, it's for all skin types, rich with amino acids, gently cleanses face and eyes. I'm someone who has really sensitive skin, I feel like, so I always have struggled with finding a good skin face wash or cleanser that just doesn't feel like it completely stripped all that I had. This cleanser is bomb. Super subtle, very gentle, and gets the job done. So I love this 
face wash so much, no more close up, okay. Now, moving on though, moving to some shower care summer products that I just, I need in my life. This is something new actually that I recently picked up. It is from Sephora. It is an exfoliating brush. Basically, you're supposed to use it before you hop in the shower, like while your skin is still dry. Brush it along your skin and it basically helps get rid of dead skin cells amongst like a pre, it's a pre-exfoliating before actually exfoliating in the shower. And that's how I start to get this real smooth baby booty skin, okay? All over my body though. All right, speaking of exfoliating as well in the shower, my OGs already know what I'm about to show you guys, but for those who might be new to this video and you haven't been put on yet, let me put you on. Fresh Original Brown Sugar Body Polish. This is some next level body scrub, body polish. It's just, it feels, like luxury, it's, it's luxury in a bottle to be honest. It exfoliates your skin and then finishes you off looking real smooth and silky and glowy and sexy. Like, this is my all time favorite body scrub. On a little bit more of a resourceful side, I have been obsessed with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Illuminating Head and Body Scrub. I picked this up from Target a while ago. I'm actually almost out, I need to get some more. I've been trying to save it. <gasps> Bro! See, now this will give you actually a slight little glow and I feel a smoother type of texture on my skin after using it. And I do use it on both my hands and my full body. Love this very much. And then another body polish slash scrub that I really have been enjoying. I think this is either my second or third one that I am on. But this is from the black owned brand again, Saw XO. It's their turmeric brightening body polish. It treats dark spots booty bumps, bikini bumps, dark circles, dark inner thighs. I in particular use this for targeted areas. I actually don't apply it all over my body. I apply it in the spots that I wanna kind of like start fading away the dark spots. So my kneecaps oftentimes get hit with this. The back of my elbows get hit with this. The back of my ankles and like kind of just my foot in general can have a lot of scars and like dark spots. I hit it with this as well. So yeah, I love using this, especially in the summertime because we want that body to glow, to glisten, to be smooth, clean, and clear okay so this is something that I grab for often during my summer showers now as far as the body wash goes for this there's one body wash in particular that it has stolen my heart very quickly you guys it's so fresh and so clean clean type of feel that I, I just have to hit my body with it first before I follow up with another body wash the necessaire body wash this is what it looks like it has eucalyptus in it. it's a multivitamin cleanse nourish and balance body wash this is definitely a base body wash for me that I use every single time I'm in the shower. The Dove Foam Body Wash, this is the pampering one in particular. It has, shea, it's the Shea Moisture um, fragrance. Foam in the shower, I don't know, during the summer it just does something for me. I feel like it elevates my shower experience, one, but also it gives kind of just that subtle cleansing instead of it being like a heavy duty liquid. And that's what I'm kind of trying to explain throughout the products that I'm showing you guys. I try to make sure that I'm not using products in particular in the summer that are stripping to my skin. I need all the moisture, all the melanin, all the radiance that I can get. So that's why I like using that necessary body wash as a base coat. And then I follow up with a more subtle, fragrancy, lightweight body wash and the foam does it for me. Then my OG already know about this one. This is a year long thing, but it's especially dope to use in the summer. Dove Body Wash Mousse, okay? The mousse is gonna make you feel like you are bathing in a cloud. And also this mousse is um, perfect and it even says it on the bottle. It's perfect for shaving. This is actually my shaving cream. I don't use anything else. Those of you guys who have not even seen this, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna give you a little teaser because once you see this, oops. Cloud, bruh. Dr. Bronner's unscented baby soap for the kitty. If you are looking for a feminine wash down there to keep your girl so fresh and so clean, clean all day, Dr. Bronner's, if you've never tried it, in particular, again, unscented baby soap. Get you one of these. Once you test it and you see what it does for your missus, she's going to be happy with you. You're gonna be happy with her and you're not gonna have to worry about that summer funk. Don't act like you don't know about it. Honey, if you have not tried the Olay Nighttime Rinse Off Body Conditioner, the B3 Plus Retinol. I know it says nighttime, I use it both night and morning, it don't matter. Because of what it does for my skin, it just leaves it so soft and so smooth. I love, I love. So we got skincare out the way, we got shower care out the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and have some perfumes, fragrances that smell good, okay, that good, good. 
Now, I want to start this category off, one, by thanking Scentbird for sponsoring this video, and two, for putting my beauty game on for those who don't know about Scentbird. Long story short, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription company that you get to choose new designer fragrances to try every month for just $17. By designer, I mean Gucci, I mean Prada, I mean Versace, I mean, they got, they got it, okay? They got the designers, y'all. Every month, you get to pick what you want to receive, so there's no surprises. They have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options and with each fragrance you'll get a 30-day supply so that you can try out fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle and what I love too about Scentbird is that they have a quiz you can take when you're kind of on the prowl for new fragrances and it might be a seasonal thing like the fragrance of perfume you use in the winter might not be the fragrance of perfume you want to use in the fall which definitely wouldn't be the fragrance of perfume you want to use in the summer I love that Scentbird gives that option for those who are interested in expanding their collection but don't want to fully invest all their money just yet just want to test out dibble dabble here and there speaking of dibble dabbling this month I decided to dibble dabble in the fragrances DKYB Delicious and Story Venetian by Vaultmont Just Bloom. Another clutch aspect about Scentbird that I love so much and probably why I'm like the Scentbird queen and have so many fragrances, they're so tiny. So they are travel size, they can be on the go with you, they can fit in small purses, big purses, whatever. Get you some Scentbird, sis, so you can always be ready. If Scentbird sounds like something you would be interested in for yourself or it sounds like something your friend, your sister, your cousin, whoever will be interested in, I highly suggest just checking out the link in the description box below as well as use my 55% off coupon code sis. That'll be just a little over $7 for your first month. And you get to choose designer fragrances. It always blows my mind how much of a steal that is to try different fragrances you've been interested in without having to commit. It's like, what? Why not? Now moving on to some of the perfumes and fragrances I have invested my money in that are constantly getting chose by me this summer. One of them being this Juliet Has a Gun Mongolia Bliss. This perfume is everything. I would say it's definitely a really good floral fragrance that stands out, but it doesn't do too much. It's not super overpowering, but it's also not subtle. It's definitely like, hi, I'm here, but it's not thirsty for attention. You feel what I mean? Yeah, because some perfumes can be thirsty. This isn't a thirsty perfume, but you're going to smell it. It's going to be acknowledged, and you're just going to smell good. You're just going to smell good. Mm -hmm. Love this very much. This replica perfume in the fragrance Beach Walk. <sighs> Call me a little cliche, but does smell like what the name of it is. Like you would walk on the beach hand in hand with your lover type thing. Very soft, very ladylike. It is on the more subtle side, which is why I'm saying I would wear this only on like intimate occasions. If I'm like at a group night or going out to turn up, I wouldn't grab this, but like something where it's an intimate date day or beach walk with Bay, this is definitely that type of scent because it's like when you're in close proximity with someone. This is the scent that I feel like would be be great for the summer when you're on a little night stroll or whatever with your boo. The beach walk, definitely highly recommend. The Soul de Janeiro Cherry Rosa 62. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. One, I fell in love with the actual bottle, like how cute is this? And then two, I stumbled across some girl's video a while ago. She was raving over combining this one with the other Soul de Janeiro um, Brazilian Crush Cherry Rosa 71. This is what that looks like. She said to combine the two. And honestly, the fragrance combined is top tier. Now this, if you're someone who's really into like that vanilla type of fragrance, this screams that. Matter of fact, it says caramelized vanilla and macadamia. This is very beachy, daytime, kicking it with your girls, hopping on a yacht and a pool party. That's this type of vibe. And this one is very vanilla-y too. Honestly, I think the fragrance is just, that's why they complement each other so well. But this is a perfume and then this one is just more so a fragrance mist. So combining it, I think that she might have suggested it because the combination would last longer together than separate. Now the last thing I'll put y'all on to in the fragrance department, organic flower premium body oil in the fragrance black women type is from this brand called Wellows. And crazy enough, I actually got it from the beauty supply store. I absolutely fell in love with this fragrance. Honestly, I could live off of this minus any perfumes. It smells that Good. It's something that will linger with you. Like, I'm saying I'm putting it on today because when my man smells me again, he gonna be like, ooh. I literally just put it on my upper body. I don't really feel like it's a need to put it on my lower body like that because I don't want to waste it. I've always looked for fragrances and perfumes that not only others can smell on me, but I like to smell myself. And this is one of them, you guys, and it will last. 
throughout the day. We're gonna move on to the body care now. So some of my body care products for the summer that are absolute must haves for me. The Necessaire deodorant, it's actually eucalyptus based, just like the shower gel, which I told you guys is my base clean. It just gives me a super clean, fresh type of feeling. I definitely fell equally in love with the deodorant gel. I love that it rolls on clear. It keeps me feeling super fresh and clean all day. There's a lot of my OGs that I'm constantly talking to you guys about like staying away from aluminum deodorant. So that is something I have been riding with for a long time now. Substitutes, because that's a little bit on the pricey side, another substitute could be the Secret Aluminum Free Dry Spray. I think I got this from Walmart or Target. And then if you're not into dry spray, also the Dove Zero Percent Aluminum Deodorant is another good one. But if I must say, in terms of what, like, I guess essentially masks the funk the best and lasts all day, if necessary, deodorant, it will have your back all day, all night. I rarely use lotion anymore to moisturize my skin. If I do, it's like a fragrance lotion that I don't intend for to moisturize me. It's just kind of like to go over top to give that aroma because your girl, smelling good is mine, my forte, always. Anyway, the Dr. Till's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. I feel like I'm always uh, putting my OGs onto this and whenever I do, I'm showing you guys a bottle that's almost gone. But that's how often I use it. Well, we're a household that uses this because I put my man on and he used to not moisturize himself, y'all. Ever since I put him onto this, he comes out glistening like a god, okay? So, highly recommend this. It makes your skin feel and smell so good. It gets in those cracks, those dry cracks and crevices. It keeps the melanin popping, okay? I'll do a little drip drip for y'all actually. I don't wanna waste it, but it keeps the melanin popping. And something else I actually fell in love with why I became really obsessed with this. I've never came across a body oil that didn't stain my clothes. After coming out the shower, I'll moisturize. Shortly after that, I'll put on my clothes and if like, it's one of those shirts that are a little bit fitted, it kind of rolls up. Y'all know what I mean. By the time I unroll it, it's a stain on it from the moisturizer that I use on my skin. I never have experienced this with this body oil before, so I'm loyal to it because it is loyal to me. And I also think it's dope to use in the summertime because it gives you that glitch. You want to glisten all summer. You want to be radiant and glow. This will help you accomplish that hands down. Another thing that will help you accomplish the glow, but it's one of those things, those issues that I ran into in terms of staining my clothes. So I wouldn't really put it on before clothes, but like if it's a beach or a pool type of situation. Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. This is top tier. Literally even says vitalizing body oil for healthy glowing skin. It will do that for you. But it, that's the thing though with Vaseline. It'll definitely give you that glow. It'll make a difference. You'll be able to see it, but it will rub off on your clothes, which is why I'm saying like when it comes to skin being out, out, like going swimming or chilling poolside or something like that, I highly recommend you're going to be glowing, sis, glowing with this. So. Definitely love this. Now, like I said, I don't rely on lotions all that much to moisturize my melanin, okay? Keep it popping. However, I do still use fragrance lotions. One of those things being an OG, uh, Sol de Janeiro, what is this? The Bum Dia Bright Cream, love. I definitely showed you guys last summer. It is still here this summer. It's just one of those fragrances that just smell so good. And you know, not every day, well, let me not lie, I was gonna say not every day do you need perfume. You don't need it every day. I'm someone who wears perfume every day, but if it was a day where I'm just chilling at home, but I still wanna smell good, I still wanna feel myself, or you're just someone who isn't really into perfume like that, fragrance lotions might be your way to go. And I would highly recommend trying this out. This is a perfect scent for the summer. And they actually recently came out with a new fragrance, Deja Flora Elesti Cream. <laughs> I probably completely butchered that, but this is what it looks like. It's in the pink bottle. It's super feminine and honestly makes my skin feel soft and smooth, but I wouldn't rely on it to keep me moisturized, which is why I'm saying I would usually use one of those oils that I showed you guys on my skin first and then apply this over top. You want to smell good all day, you layer the fragrances, sis. This is that layer, I would say layer two. 
to the equation. Now, mama ain't raised no fool, and as I've gotten older, I've learned to take this more seriously. When it comes to sunscreen, your girl's playing no games anymore. I picked up this black girl sunscreen, the moisturizing sunscreen lotion for face and body. It is water resistant, 80 minutes, and it's infused with Jehovah and avocado. It's also fragrance free, so I can't really give you guys much like, oh, it smells like this or it does this, but I, I believe it does the job. It keeps my skin protected from the rays of the sun and just make sure my melanin stays popping and healthy. Ooh, now this is something actually I want to definitely put you guys on to, especially in the summer. You should really be doing it year round, but in the summer, I feel like it's the most crucial. It's all EXO, black on brand again. They have this Femme Rejuve Oil. Essentially, it's for the JJ. It's a JJ oil and it has a little dropper situation. When it comes to moisturizing my body, I showed you guys all the products for that, but in particular for her, for my missus, I use this on her, especially because I'm a waxer. I'm a girl who gets waxed. It's important to keep her moisturized, especially in the summertime, because you know, skin is out. That's all I got to say, skin is out. Another thing that's super important in terms of my body care situation for the summer, making sure the feet look good, look right, feel good, feel right. I've been using this Gold Bond Ultimate Softening Foot Cream. Baby girl! Results are almost immediate to be honest with you. And so you'll feel your foot get softer and smoother. And I'm someone who has pretty rough feet. I'm not gonna lie about that. Let's be getting my feet together, okay? It says penetrates fast, non-greasy, fresh, soft scent. That's all true. You know, your feet are usually out the most during the summertime, so it's important to make sure the girls are looking good, okay? You can't be out here like that. You wanna wear the flip-flops, you wanna wear the heels with the feet all out. Make sure your feet are looking right, sis. You can't be out here like this. Don't do that to yourself. Witch Hazel Cleansing Towelette or cleansing cloths, that's what it looks like. Always refresh cleansing wipes. They're fragrance free, this is what it looks like. I alternate between these two when it comes to cleansing myself throughout the day. Summer months are the hottest, the sweatiest, the muckiest. Sometimes it just happens where you need to refresh yourself and you might not have time for a shower or whatever. So these uh, oftentimes hit my armpits, the booty crack, and not really the kitty. I won't do the kitty, I'll be a little bit more gentle with the kitty, so I'll use the always wipes for her or Charmin wet wipes. I'm pretty much always using those, especially in the summertime after I use the washroom. I use these more than tissue when it comes to wiping because she gotta stay fresh, okay? You gotta be prepared. You know I got backups for y'all. Honey Pot Sensitive Wipes. This is what it looks like. It's a cute little small towelette package. These are easy to go in any small size purse just with you on the go. Now, the last category that I'm super excited about and probably the category a lot of you guys have been waiting for, the glow. Okay, we need the glow, we need the glisten, we need the baboon. Let's start with this Vaseline Cocoa Shimmer Jelly Stick. A lot of my OGs have seen this before, but those of you guys who have not, highly recommend. It's just a super cute, subtle, subtle glow. Honestly, it's something, if you want something subtle, I'm gonna show you guys different ranges of like boom, and just, okay. This is on the subtle side. This is what it looks like. You see that? It's like has a little gold tint to it. It gives you that little like subtle glow, like I said, and I think I mentioned in other videos before. Yes, it can be for your body, but I also feel like if you're someone who's not wearing makeup that day, but want to add a little bit of life to your face, you can use it as a little highlight. Just hit little spots. Because it's so subtle, it won't look like you're wearing makeup. It'll really just look like your skin from within is glowing. So I love this so much. And then you can put it on other like parts of your body as well, obviously, if I want my shoulder to glow a little bit, okay? Just that subtle glow. Now, when it comes to a little bit more of a medium glow, all right? This Tom Ford Shimmer Body Oil. I grabbed this, okay. Boom, boom, boom. It gives you a glow and it does have a fragrance, no doubt, no doubt. But I did recently stumble across the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil. It basically looks like a twin, like a replica, okay? This is what they both look like from the back. I just showed you guys, this is the Tom Ford. Definitely, my chest is glowing, no doubt, no doubt. But check out this Anastasia. You can already see from the squirt. It gives you that true shimmer. I, I'm not quite sure, honestly, where the shimmer goes with the Tom Ford. So matter of fact, let's combine it, okay? Let's do that. Let me try that out. And we need a little combination going on here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
that's what I'm gonna do. That combination at the beach or by the pool, on the legs, on the body. Ain't nobody messing with you, sis. Ain't nobody messing with you. Now, another way to glow this summer, the Sol de Janeiro, they have a bronze glow oil and they also have a Rio Sunset glow oil. One looks like this, one looks like this. The bronze one, this is what we're looking like. I think that it gives your skin like a nice little tint type of glow. Whereas this Rio Sunset looks like this. It's gonna give you a more of a lighter type of glow that really stands out. Sometimes I want a glow that it seems like I'm glowing from within. Other times I want the glow to be so apparent that I put something on me to glisten like this. Those won't give you that. That'll give you more of a natural type of vibe and they both do have like an aroma going on. Oh, I do see the shimmer on my arms. Yeah, it gives you a glow, a little shimmer. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. This had it for years. And honestly, it lasts a pretty long time too. I don't always try to glow like this, but y'all about to see. Get that cover effect. This is a glow, baby. This is a glow. You will glisten. I will put it on my chest and like my shoulders, all the areas that I just, imagine I'm in my washroom. It's only lit by ceiling lights. Imagine if I was in the sun right now. Direct sun on the melanin. <laughs> It'd be a wrap. Glowing to me in the summer is like essential. It just makes me feel so good. It makes me feel like a walking goddess, to be honest with you. So those are my favorite. And then imagine it on my back. I can't really reach it right now, but like a little bit of the glow on the back. Baby, we got a little top tier all summer, ladies. So I hope that you guys took notes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, that is all I have for you guys. I really put y'all on to my staple summer must-haves. If you have even had the items that I put you guys on to, you will glow, you will smell delicious, you will look top tier, baby bottom smooth skin. You will be doing the summer right. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're interested in Scentbird, the link is in the box below. If you're interested in any of the other products that I have going on, I will try to put as many of them as I can find in the description box below for you to go ahead and purchase it yourself as well. And yeah, y'all, that is all I have for you guys. So until next time, have fun glowing this summer. Bye. Back in the mind. Back in the mind.